what's up guys uh all right so today's video will probably be, be the last one for a while inside the store um we've officially been put on self-quarantine or whatever they want to call it <sighs> yes our rows are bad anyway so today's video will be the last one i'm gonna be removing um something on a wheel but i'm gonna show you guys step by step what i'm doing and how it works i made a video about how to service your xd drive etc um but today I want to show you guys exactly how the extra drive work and what you're going to use on it and how you're going to install it put everything back together so yeah stay tuned for that uh, before i start today's video i've been reading some of the comments i have been trying to better my quality and trying a few new things on my blog i think i've improved a lot over the 80 videos that i've made but there are a few things that's not too good some things that's not very great and one of you guys said uh, I must work on my intro maybe and the editing so I am working on that I'll still be using my intro for today um, for the last video inside the store but I am working on a new one it would be pretty cool the other thing is I'm using my old vlogging camera so I don't think the quality will be too bad uh, I just hope the echo won't be too bad because this thing doesn't have a directional mic or so so please just bear with me for that I am speaking quite loud so it should be fine and yeah today's video will be on an XD drive uh, free up body this little guy here and yes I made a video on how to service it but this one is a, in that video I'll put the link up here in that video I talked about all the springs etc coming out and that one didn't have it but this is a XD compatible drive with all those springs and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's in there how this thing works and how to put it back together so yeah, stay tuned So what I usually do is, uh, you guys can try this at home, I think it's quite a good tip. Always get yourself a piece of cardboard or paper or whatever. So you can put all the things on there and you can see exactly what you're working with. So you're going to have your XC drive free up body with the two bearings inside there. You're going to have a little clutch engagement system there and then the two springs. And these were the two springs I talked about in the previous video. But I said it usually has a few springs in there and there's a certain way to put them in. So I'm quickly going to clean all these things, I won't show it, um, but I'm quickly going to clean all these things and then I'll show you exactly how to put it back into your bike and how to tighten it and how to make sure everything sits flush um, the way it should. Alright, so now I've cleaned my XD drive body. I'm going to share with you a few key um, points or aspects that you need to look at with this. All these little grooves here, I hope you can see it. All those little grooves inside there. Make sure they are super, super clean. You can take a toothbrush, you can take a paintbrush, anything. To make sure they are very, very clean inside there. Even the thread on here, you can see all the threads there. Make sure that's clean, make sure it's clean here in front. Make sure everything is clean on the sides there, inside there. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because now you clean this thing, you don't clean it as good as you can, and then you start putting back, and then you start putting back your XT drive cassette which also have a few threads in here and all these um, edges here will push onto the edge of this thing and then it'll make a creaking noise uh, when you're riding and then you think it won't work now there's a few things you can look at the one thing I wanted, I do want to tell you guys I've, I've cleaned these bearings and I, I'm not going to show you guys how I did that because I showed it in the other videos you can just go check that video but make sure when putting in these bearings or putting them back that you put them in as straight as possible if they go in skew, they will uh, wear out the free up body or your uh, anything where you put in a seal bearing. It will wear it out and then at a point it can create play on these things and that can also make a creaking noise. So it's not, it's not always that you didn't clean this thing good enough. Just make sure that you put your bearings inside there um, straight as, as straight as possible. Make sure there's a bit of grease inside there. So yeah, that's the first thing. Make sure all these things are clean. And I'm going to show you exactly how the clutch engagement system works on this. I try my best to explain this as simple as possible or as logical as possible um, to make sense for you as well if you're not sure how all these things work. So what you're going to have is you're going to have your free up body or your XT drive body. 
gonna have one of these springs. I haven't cleaned these yet all day just now. I just want to show you guys how this works. You're gonna put it inside there. It's like the same spring on your normal quick release wheels. The bigger side must go into your app body and the smaller side is gonna show outwards. So you're gonna put that in there. And now this works is you see that guy there will slide into certain slots inside the XT drive. So you'll see there's a bit of it pushes it out with a spring. Now that works is <clears throat> the other spring will be inside your wheel, which will be pushing this one in and out of the wheel <clears throat> or out of your hub. So these two basically go like this, and that's what makes the creak or, or the the ratchet noise when you're free. And then when you start pedaling, it engages with all those little teeth there. Both of them have it on there. Then they engage basically, <clears throat> and that's what helps you to pedal forward. And the moment you start freeing, it will make that noise again. It's basically this noise. And that's the noise most of us like. Now the harder it is for some guys, the, the better for some guys, they don't like it at all. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. But just remember, if you don't grease this thing, it'll make quite a loud noise, but you will be wearing it out quicker than it should. So always remember to put a light um, line of grease on here and there as well. Um, it shouldn't be too heavy of a grease. You can use a white grease, a marine grease, anything that will just keep this nice and lubed. And make sure you put on the outside as well because obviously these things need to slide in and out of there and the same in your wheel. So I'm going to put this back quickly in hyperlapse and then I'll show you guys and let you hear the sound afterwards. <laughs> Cleaned the wheel, I've uh, put back the axle and everything. Like I said, I'm not going to show you guys that because I did it in the previous video. I'm going to show you how to install or how to put back your XT drive cluster. I'm going to show you where to grease and where to make sure everything is good on that. And uh, I'm going to put it back and then some motivation afterwards. Alright, like I said, I'm going to try to explain this as logical as possible. I hope you guys can see inside there. I'm going to push my finger in from the other side. Just there, there's a white piece of I was going to say plastic, but let's call it a plastic bushing there. What actually um, pushes against your, your uh, XT drive prior body. And if you don't clean that properly and lube that enough, it will make a creaking noise on your, on your prior body. And then what I always do is, just on the edges here, I put a little bit of grease and then on your thread as well. On the thread I usually put something like your um, copper compound or so because it, it, it acts like a locking mechanism, but it also allows you to take off the wheel. So it, it's still a grease, but it... it you don't seize on your on your aluminium to aluminium or won't create any corrosion there. That's a very, very good product to use. So, um, or you can just put on your normal marine grease, the one that I'm using, or a red rubber grease, anything, but then you'll just have to take it off a bit more often to make sure it doesn't corrode on there. So make sure you clean that inside there, put a little bit of grease on that little white part there, on your thread, and just a little bit of grease on here, and then you just basically put it back like normal, but I'm going to show you because it can go on skew and uh, I'm going to show you a way to make sure these things line up on your uh, free body. Alright, so it's not always the best thing to work on the ground, but for this uh, specific scenario it's going to be the best option. I hope you guys can hear me, I'll speak quite loud so the camera picks up my voice. But find yourself a, a nice flat surface, put your wheel on there, and then you remember I spoke about the grooves on your free body. Make sure that your cassette or cluster lines up with those on the you see there it clips in so i'm going to take it off and do it once more you're going to put it on turn it a bit and the moment it clicks you make you, you know that your your teeth are lined up there and this is going to sound funny <laughs> but if this only turns a few times and it locks then it's not on properly you're going to turn this part a bit to make sure it's tightened all the way down i'm going to show you guys here <coughs> And then you are sure that it's on there properly. Like I said, if it only turns a few times, it doesn't work. So you can actually hear the free. That's the sound those two teeth make when they actually turn. But that's the sound the two teeth make when they turn. And when you when, when you start pedaling, they engage, and that allows you to move forward. So yeah, stay tuned for the motivation.